and iced oat milk. And... Okay. <laughs> I'm going live. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. I'm going to do a little day in my life. I went out last night. I was out till like 1.30 and my friend Sarah slept over and now I'm just cleaning up the apartment. I went to Farm Boy and got some strawberries, yogurt. I'm currently dairy free. I'm experimenting for my skin. Um, so I'm going to try to be dairy free for three months, see how that goes and then make a decision if I want to stay dairy free. And I got tulips because I've been loving having tulips in here. And I also got strawberries because I wanted strawberries. You are on my coffee maker. I also went to Napa and picked up an iced oat milk latte. And I'm just in this little aloe top and my lemon aligned. But Audrey is coming over soon. And... It's Mother's Day tomorrow, so we're gonna go on a little walk. We're gonna get something for her mama, Ruth. Um, pink tulips are gonna go. I think I'm gonna do pink here, and then I'll do white in my room. I'm gonna just I'm gonna water my plant. I have to water Marilyn, but I've been loving just having tulips here. I need to wipe this table down because the previous ones got pollen all over, but. Look how pretty, stunning queen. It is T minus a week and like two days till I move out, which is really exciting. I don't know why it's so dark. Hello, um, it's T minus um, a week and two days till I move out and I have not packed at all yet. My mom's gonna come and help me. It'll be super helpful. I just I need to unpack dishwasher a little chaotic this morning but literally i've been getting so many things for the new apartment like they're all in here like that's my rug i have decor from h&m in there that's the machine from that's the box for my new coffee machine like there's just a whole lot going on in here um i'm taking all my bedding bedroom furniture with me but living room furniture i got all new so i sold my couch because it's too big for the new apartment and i bought the couch from the girl that currently lives there i got i'm taking the coffee table from here got a new bar cart which is super exciting um it's one of like the clear ones just putting you down there throwing out these I'm gonna put those away and I'll make a breakfast bowl and I'll come back to you when I'm making the bowl. So yeah, happy Saturday, enjoy the vlog. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and turn notification bells on so that you always know when I'm posting new videos. Sunday is my new upload day. I'm um, planning to do Sunday around like two to 3 p.m. So yeah, enjoy the vlog people. Everything is put away. The out and now we're going to make a little yogurt bowl i haven't had dairy-free yogurt in a hot sec or because i was having greek yogurt you guys know that but we're gonna do this was my favorite brand i don't know if i'm ready to go to the plain one so i just got vanilla um and i'm not planning i don't think i'm gonna end up having it super often because i haven't been having yogurt that often so it's fine um i just like try to watch sugars and stuff like this because unfortunately with a lot of plant-based options there's a lot of added sugars which is is fine in moderation but it can all add up really quickly so we're gonna do this we're gonna do some blueberries some hemp hearts i think strawberries and then maybe a little bit of this granola from Anita, um which i really love it's so good it's incredible but let's make our bowl these bowls are from Fable. I actually really like them. What I actually found super interesting was that at Farm Boy, normally in most grocery stores, I remember this yogurt being more expensive, but at Farm Boy, the silk yogurt was more expensive. And so I just went with that one because it was like a dollar or so cheaper. Okay, and we're gonna do Hemp 
seeds. These are good for omegas and plant-based protein. For three tablespoons, it has 10 grams of protein and apparently 12 grams of omegas. So you wouldn't even need to take an omega supplement. And then a little bit of granola. I'm spilling it everywhere in the bag. Perfect. If this was unsweetened yogurt, I'd put a little bit of honey, but it's ready. Pretty sweet. And then I don't really feel like washing and cutting this right now. I'm gonna be honest. They're sweet. Fine strawberries have been hit or miss. And I never like, I do, I order groceries a lot. Never really like ordering them. Cause I feel like whoever picks them doesn't get the good ones. But this is my little breakfast bowl. I'm gonna eat this and then Audrey should be here. Welcome back to another vlog. We are in my brand new painting. Well, I'm so sure you're awesome. It's very sunny. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> my first time trying Mandy's. Oh my god. Do, have you ever had in Montreal? No. Have you ever been to Montreal? <laughs> Once. Okay, well we're taking um, your brandy, your brandies, your Mandy's virginity. What do you think you're gonna order? I have no idea. What are do you want me to grab a salad menu for you? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we made our orders. Well, first we um, got to taste Tez, the mock chicken, which was so good. Yeah. Okay, yours came with it. Mine's coming with it, the peanut one. I think that was the teriyaki one that we tried. Yeah. Oh, but it was good. It was kind of, um, it's kind of like Satan. It reminded me of if you've ever had that. No. Because it has like the flour in it. It was like, or if you've ever been to Copper Branch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It reminded me of their big, like their mushroomy big chicken. chicken. But she said it had egg in it, so it wouldn't be vegan. It would only be. Oh, it had egg. It's just like vegetarian. Yeah, it was really Which good. is interesting. You would think it would be vegan. But I got, yeah, I got the crunchy sesame salad, which has like mandarin oranges and like crunchy noodles. noodles. And, and then yeah. I got the peanut satay, so we're very much like on like the Asian oh, yeah. salad grind today. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to come back and try it. Like there were so many I wanted to try. I've been trying. You guys know I always get the same thing over and over again. So I've been really encouraging myself to try something different every single time I come here. I don't think I've ever ordered the same salad twice. How many times have you been here? Well, cause then I, also, I ordered takeout from here last Sunday. That's when I tried the sirtuna. Oh, I've been right. here a few times because everyone like always wants to go with me because I'm yeah. not like salads. <laughs> and you live close by. And I live close by and I'm willing to spend $20 sometimes on a salad because I can go up to like $20. You know what the real the real comparison will be to what a big Yeah, because I, I feel that. like it surpasses that to be honest. Probably. But it's also kind of a different vibe. Yeah. Okay. They're like more like like cohesive because yeah. they make them. They make them. But we'll Anyways. report back when we get them. And we're also gonna check out Deer Grain because I want to show Audrey Deer Grain. I think. And we want to really like it. Yeah. <laughs> we want a table. I feel like they should put little patios. Oh, yeah, there. they should. It's a beautiful day. Stunning, stunning queen. I, I asked her not to because I don't want that to be Audrey's taste test. Wait, to one bite, you know the rules. Was it a good bite? Mm. I think we're a happy camper. I love a sesame dressing. They're so good. I'm really excited to try this one. It better be worth the hype. If it's not worth the hype. I think so far the um, wolf has been my favorite and the superfood. That looks really good. I'm excited. Bon appetit. I'm literally sweating. 
I'm trying to learn the TikTok dance. It's about damn time, like the Lizzo one that's turning right now. And I haven't danced since second year of university. So this is really thrilling. We're trying over here. I'll let you, also my tulips have popped. I put a coin in, but I don't know, like they're all flimsy. I don't know why, but we're gonna try. by the waterfront to get myself on a walk um because i'm bored <laughs> and it's stunning out so these tulips are thriving i don't know what happened to my white ones but we're gonna go on a walk by the waterfront hopefully it's not too busy and to be honest i'll probably buy another coffee or something I had to do a little bit of work for work because something with the coffee, I swear I put all the coffee in um, on the planner, but it wasn't going live. But this is the outfit. Obsessed with my new throw for my new apartment. I have it up here. Let's go on a walk. Just a chill day. I'm not doing anything tonight. I think I'm gonna edit this vlog actually so that it can go live for you when you're seeing this, which will be tomorrow for me. And. I'm not doing like an actual workout today, so I want to try get to 20,000 steps. And I'm doing a May challenge with Kayla McManus, um, KM Method, to reach 10K steps every day in May. So I've done every day, but Tuesday I got to 9,100. Um, but I'm gonna count it because the day before I did 1,600, 16,000, sorry. So I feel like that counts for it. I'm gonna go walk maybe i'll take you guys with me probably will take you with me so i can get some content and views for you and show you beautiful lake ontario <laughs> wish i could live by a beach but we live by lake so I forgot to end off this vlog. I went on a little hot girl walk. I'm wearing this set from Lulu and to be honest I've had it for months and I haven't worn it because I just did not feel confident enough to wear it Like I felt like it didn't look small like I wanted to be smaller to be able to wear it Like I'll be honest like I'll share you my thought process whether or not it makes sense or not because it's complete bullshit but I didn't feel like I was thin enough toned enough to wear it um i've always been insecure about my thighs and so i never like wearing colored pants that are tight but i got over that today and we wore it and i felt confident and i matched it my new balances because they're green we're a matchy matchy queen over here went on a nice little hot girl walk got some coffee because it's the weekend um what else do i want we're going for spin soon, it's Mother's Day today, but um, our brunch was canceled because my dad has COVID right now. Um, so me and Shana are gonna go for smoothies after spin. And yeah, today's gonna be a great day. My tulips are slowly coming back up. I poked holes underneath the bulbs, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Like even like the leaves are like floppy, like they're not like, so. We shall see what happens with that, but I'm gonna make my 
breakfast edit this youtube video and i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe so you always know when new videos are up and that is how you can help support my channel i love you guys so much and we'll chat soon see you next week and then i like to think of my future self so that is what i do and to help encourage myself of doing the grocery shopping meal prepping working out cleaning my space all that I also tend to baby myself a little bit, kind of like, I guess, like mother myself, um, kind of talk to myself how like my mother would nag me to do things. So like, okay, Lana, like you're going to go to bed at this time, which means we need to start getting ready at this time. We need to clean our room before we go to bed, make sure this is all ready for tomorrow. Um, we're going to wake up at this time, then you're going to do X, Y, Z. We're going to pack our lunch in our bag. We're going to leave for work at this time. You know, like kind of just like walk yourself through all the steps 